you can file us under Uber Stories. This is one of the times that I hooked up with a passenger. The first time that it happened, I wasn't expecting it. You're never expecting to have sex with a gorgeous woman that you just met. Brookhaven, Shamley, Buckhead, they all kind of intersect in a certain area and it was that spot that I picked her up because it was a Saturday. Football season. Typically, all of the alumni would call Uber early in the morning because they were going over their buds or their friends' houses and totally getting fucked up. So they would Uber there and Uber home and not have to risk a DUI. Well, I pick her up about 6 p.m. because I had been out all day. She gets up front and she pats my leg, which I thought was unusual. Okay, she's friendly. That's what I thought. She clearly had been drinking. You've had a good time? Great day. Very chatty, very engaging, was looking at me, I was driving. We talked, took her home, and before she got out, she shook my hand and said, nice to meet you. Now let me tell you about her. About 5'2", 115, 125. Not D's, maybe, maybe B's or C's, but her waist was so little, they looked bigger than they really were. Little paisley dress, cowboy boots on, dark brown hair, just about six inches below her shoulders. Girl, good looking girl. I thought all that was interesting. I kind of felt some green lights. She had been drinking. You can't trust that, right? Before she gets out, she digs into her purse, hands me her business card. She's like, call me later and hopped out. I thought about it and I was like, nah. You, you never know how these things are gonna go. You know, when I was an Uber driver, I used to do like power shifts, working on a book about it, which I wrote and did well. Now I finish up my shift, it's about 11 p.m. As if fate has said, you're gonna fuck this chick. Her card fell out of my visor on my dick. And I was like, what the, what the hell, I'll call her. Like, hey, how you doing? You're up late. I was waiting on you. What are you doing? Waiting on you to come over. You know where I live. And actually I didn't. <laughs> because if you drive for Uber, all that stuff's in the app. I kind of sort of knew. But I had her send me the address so I could put it in the GPS. And I'm thinking, what's going to happen? Maybe we'll hang out. Maybe I'll get to know her a little bit better. I'm cool with that. She was really, really cute. So... I get there, she lets me in the gate, walking up the stairs, heart's beating because, you know, I'm like, it's 11 something at night, don't know what's going to happen, a little scared, a little excited, knock on the door, she answers the door in this little robe, blue satin robe, nothing else, barefoot, hair is wet, and I'm like, she just took a shower. She just took a shower. Anybody that's been around a while knows when a girl takes a shower, it's, it's a good thing. It's a very good thing. It's time she gives me a hug and she holds on. I'm like, hey, glad to see you. I missed you too. I go sit in the living room. She says I need to go finish freshening up. I'm sitting there watching television, just wondering, is this really going to happen? This is really gonna happen. She comes back with a little t-shirt on and her hair and a ponytail. And I noticed, it's a long t-shirt, no bra, no panties. And I'm like, this is going down. This is going down. So she sits down, we look at television, we talk a little bit. Seems like an eternity, it might be. It might be five minutes. And then she just looks at me. So are you we're gonna keep talking or are you gonna come here to do what you wanna do? Spent the night. And I woke up the next day and I looked down at her, she was asleep. And it was just like, did that really happen? Did you ever have something that happens and you still, even though you are in the moment, you're feeling it. You're still like, did that happen because it's so unbelievable? And it happened, it happened a few more times. Then I got up, 
to make sure she was up. I was like, hey, I'm heading out. She gave me a kiss. And like, call me later. I'm like, of course I'm going to call you later. I'll call you quite a few times. And as I was going down the stairs, I was just totally happy with my decision to write that book. Because none of that would have happened if I didn't write that book. Which really, you know, was a short-term project. But I'm just here to tell you that when you try to do something well, there's all kinds of side benefits. But hopefully you learn something. If you like that story and other stories like that will be coming be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss any episodes because I don't know how I'm gonna put this stuff up I might do one every other day I might do one every day it's gonna be very random in the beginning very very random so you never know so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything Day business school is in session. Learn how to make money, increase your wealth. One of the biggest problems I have is that people come to the YouTube channel, they'll see me and they want to get some, but they don't know where to start. So I have solved that problem today. If you're brand new, welcome. We're glad to have you. Look forward to serving you a long, long time. If you want to get this knowledge, if you want to start a business, I have created a blueprint, a roadway for you to actually start making changes in your life. Because this is one of the things that I have learned. When I was doing 30 days to 2,500, I learned that there were some people who did better than others. And I was like, why are these people doing better than other people? What's going on with these people? And what I have discovered, and let's see. Let me go ahead and hit that. What I've discovered is that people who came in with a business already, they did really well with 30 days to 2,500. Remarkably well. It was like mind blowing for some of them. Then there were people who didn't do well. And these were people who did not have a strong mindset or were not in business. So what I've des designed is for you to go through this pathway because essentially when I get someone who's brand new to the channel and they've never had a business, there is so much work that has to be done. I mean, I know there's folks on the internet that makes owning the business, run the business look super easy and it's not. And it's one of the most complicated things that you will do in your life. But once again, people want the path of least resistance. That is not what we're going to have. So we're going to go here and we're going to go under. All right. So this is where you start. This is the uh, blueprint. First thing you're going to do is get. The Hustler's Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success. That's your free audio book. That's where you're going to start getting that mind correct. Then you're going to move to this. Money Management the Basics of Finance and Wealth Development. Before you get new money, you must optimize the money you already have. If you, as it was said in the part of the live stream this morning, if you don't manage a little bit of money well, you're not going to manage a lot of money well. It's the same person. The only thing that changes is the money. Look at the number of athletes who go broke 
because they've never learned how to manage money. They never learned how to compartmentalize, how to do the five check and account blueprint. They've not done that. So this is the, the first course you need. And I keep telling everybody that. I've had a lot of people who take this course and they booked the a consult because they wanted to know more. So this is the course that you need. Then after that, we're going to go to the third course, Becoming the Boss. You have to make this mental shift about being into a producer mode. So this is the third course you will take. And one of the things that I've done is I've priced this stuff so well that, you know, there, there is a few of you who are kind of sitting back, who are emailing me like, hey, I want to buy these courses. What's the best price you can give me? That never works. Those deals never materialize because they were required for me to sit on email and go back and forth with people all day. And it just typically doesn't work out. Uh, the courses are so economical. All right, this is what you're going to get after becoming the boss. This will be your fourth course, uh, the Power of Six Productivity course. This course will help you get stuff done. This is a habit that you need to develop, how to manage your time, how to get stuff done. When you start a business, there's going to be so many things to do that this course will help you learn how to get stuff done. How to, what's the priority, what's not priority? This course will do it for you. All right. So the fifth course you will get, Scripted Days. This is a life-changing course. I think it's too cheap, but I want you guys to benefit. It will give you the power of written manifestation. It will straighten out your uh, bad habits it will put you on the path of productive success. It will teach you how to, you know, set up a morning ritual, set up an evening ritual, a lot of things. This will be the fifth course. Now, these five courses in the free audio book will build a foundation. When I was doing 30 Days to 2500, I had some students do amazingly well, and some students struggled. The people who did well already had a, a business or be a superior mindset. The foundational courses will give you the superior mindset. Let's say you're a person who wants to start a business but have no clue to where to start. This next section is for you. Typically, business success comes from practicing business skills. One of the best ways to do that is by reselling. You got to get your feet wet. This is where you will start with the reselling courses. Uh, this is a collection that gives you the storage auction book, the pimping Craigslist stuff, all of this stuff to get you geared for resale. How to have a great garage sale, all that. Now, once you've gotten the first five courses, your next move will be 30 days to 2,500. This course is for people who need to learn how to sell and how to sell and set up business. It will be thought provoking. This is also a good course for people with established businesses. Remember how I told you the people who had already businesses did extremely well? So go ahead, you know, if you have a business owner, if you go through, because 30 days to 2,500 is a long course. It's going to take you about two months to go through it, but it'll be well worth it because in these two months, you're going to learn stuff. It's going to open up your eyes. It's going to create new shifts in how you think and how you do business. All right. Uh, the seventh course will be asking for the money, how to be an Uber salesperson. Now, don't get this course unless you have something to sell. Just reading a book or reading a book about sales without having something to sell is a waste of time. You need to actually read about it and put this stuff into practice. And once again, uh, for all you folks who keep asking me about the Luponics book, I don't know the name. Can't remember the name of it. All I know is it had a red and black cover. Can't help you. People keep like, man, it sounds dope. What's the name? I don't know the name, man. I don't know the name. Just had to put that out there. All right. And for the business owners, this will be defined as people making money and paying their bills with the proceeds from the business. 
you know, if you got like a side business or something, and this might be for you, but this is for the business owners. You should get the art of holding on how to set up your legal structure. Structure. If you're a business owner making money, you are a target and you will need to protect yourself. Now, for the people who want to save some money, I have a curated bundle with all the courses except the art of holding to get you started and get your business aspirations. So this is the bundle that includes most of the courses. There you go. So if you are new to the channel and you're like, hey, where do I start? That's the pathway. That's the pathway to get started because from a foundational standpoint, you need to establish the foundation before you get off into trying to start your business. Because like I said, you know, I, I got a ton of feedback from 30 days to 2,500. And if I had been thinking, I would have did this like way sooner, but essentially taking those lessons derived from that course, you got people who are not mentally prepared to start a business. It's, it doesn't mean that they can't become mentally prepared. It's just a process. It's going to take them a little time to, you know, like you got kids. All kids don't learn at the same rate. You got some kids who learn slower, and but they can still get there. And essentially, this is what you will be going through with the foundational courses. They will help you get your mind right. This will help you get your mind right. The DSL Chronicles, hell yeah, they ain't going to buy people. I mean, seriously, I, I, I pretty much ignore those folks because I've been down that path before. Typically, the people who are like, I want this course, I want this course, I want this course, and who want to talk to me, uh, the number one reason that people want to talk to me is to get permission to do what they think they want to do. This like, well, if Glendon thinks this is cool. No, you, you need to give yourself permission. You need to validate yourself. You need to um, believe in yourself. Mike Ellie, this ain't no theory. This ain't no theory, man. These courses have come from my business experience. There is no theory here. Let's see. Anthony Johnson, me and my cousin got busy today. We had a hard time starting our generator. It wouldn't start for our mobile watch, but we strung it together. Made a hundred bucks for a few hours. See, once you go through this transformation, once you get that first good sale, that first load of money, it becomes addictive. It becomes very addictive. Now, what I'm going to do for the, you know, starting next week, there's going to be a lot of new training. So I'm going to do a video probably Sunday or Monday talking about the new training and how you can get a hold of that. Now, if you have never started a business, this stuff is good for you, especially 30 days to 2,500. And the money management course, I've heard, got a lot of feedback from that. People like it. It has helped them manage their finances because here's the thing. If you go ahead and start making a lot of money with your bad money management habits right now, it's the money's just, you're not going to get the best use of the money. You, you need to learn how to hold on to money. And this is what the course teaches you. So, you know, next week we will get into, um, the, the new stuff, but the new stuff will build on this. It won't be the same information. It'll be new information and more of it for business owners. I don't really have a lot of courses for business owners other than the art of holding maybe 30 days to 2,500 and asking for the sale. Those only courses for business owners. Uh, a lot of this stuff is side hustle stuff. Uh, beginning business person. So once again, just go ahead, 
you know if you're brand new to the channel you just found this welcome thank you appreciate you um this is what we're going to do Michael Gardner. So it's true. This guy I'm working for in real estate made like 15K and spent it all. People that thirst, you know, that 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 thirst is a big, big problem. That build up thirst of you wanting stuff, you want to live a certain lifestyle. Once again, the money management course will help you with that. Let's see where we are. Cool. Because what uh, this is going to be a very short live stream because I'm going to take it down and I'm going to put it at the end of all the newer videos. So people who are coming into the fold, you know, the new folks, because it's got a lot of new folks. I get, you know, emails and stuff like, hey, Glendon, man, I'm really excited. I like what you're saying. But where do I start? This is where you start. Okay. So all of the information is below. You can start with your first five foundational courses. Then start going wild on the other stuff. And very soon I will have some new information that will build on these principles that will take you to the next level. So with that, I will see you guys later.